Hi everyone, it's Takei here. I'm currently studying architecture at the University of the Arts London or UAL and in this video I will share with you my experience in this course so far. Let's begin with the positive things and the first thing that I really like about this course is that it really pushes us and encourages us to be really practical with our work and uh, since I've started this foundation year I've been doing 3D models uh, at least every week or every 10 days uh, and that really developed my confidence with designing three-dimensionally and making these 3D models. Obviously I'm nowhere near of making this amazing uh, work that you see in Pinterest or Instagram that are made from uh, degree students or masters or actual architects uh, but I feel more confident uh, of using uh, materials to make uh, 3D work. The second thing that I like about this course are the projects. Obviously I haven't uh, enjoyed all the projects that we have done but most of them were really fun because I was able to develop them with things and topics that I'm really passionate about and I'm interested in until they fitted in the context of the project given which was most of the time. And something that makes the projects more fun is that we are really pushed to be as experimental as we can. You can literally propose anything like making a city of, with the walking buildings and the tutors they will help you with that obviously you have to find some good reasoning justifications and also some context behind your proposal but they're not gonna tell you that that's crazy you have to be realistic they are really flexible and you're not encouraged to be realistic at all obviously i mean you need to consider some stuff uh, when you propose something but it's a course where you, you can literally do anything that you like uh, you can build anything that you like you just need to do your research if any other artist did it before you or show where you got inspired from or just some ideas and your own reasoning why would you build a city that has walking buildings uh, what's the benefit of it uh, and yeah if you find the reasoning behind that if you have a good justification you can literally propose that and make some models that portrays your proposal now moving on to the negative opinions and the first thing that i'm not enjoying which is not the university's fault or anyone's fault because uh, no one really has any control over it which is the fact that we can't use the studios and as i said i'm not blaming anyone for this uh, this is the safest option that we have uh, to keep our universities uh, and schools closed uh, because of the pandemic but it's just annoying working at home is not terrible you can wake up two minutes before the lecture you can uh, save up a lot of money since you'll not have to travel to your campus. Uh, you can schedule your own time whenever you want to do your work unless you don't have any supervised lessons. But at the same time, you lose a lot of uh, things such as uh, you know the ability to socialize with your classmates uh, and also being more productive uh, i'm someone that really enjoys that study environment and i really wish to have more of it but obviously we can't at the moment because of the current situation around the world i really hope that in the next couple of months uh, things will get better and we will be able to reuse the campuses and the second thing that I didn't really like about the course at first was the structure. I think that it was a bit confusing. Maybe it was just me that wasn't paying much attention, I don't know. But it took me like three, four weeks just to get an understanding of how the course will be delivered, how it will be graded. Like in the first day we started doing the project and I thought that I was really unsure if this project will last the entire year or like it will last a month or two months. Uh, since in my A levels, uh, all the projects that we have done lasted at least four to five weeks. Whereas in the foundation course, the first couple of projects were just a week long. Some projects were just a day or two days. And that was really confusing because we were just, uh, you know, moving topics after topic. But in the first week, we would explore architecture. In the second week, uh, the first two days, we would explore fashion. And then we would move into product design. That was really confusing. And I wish that I had some awareness of uh, this and how the course will be delivered overall but yeah after the first month i was able to understand the, the whole structure of the course and how our lessons and all that projects will be delivered so yeah that's all from me in this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you made it this far you can go and check out this video here about my experience on the application process of the uel foundation course and i'll see you in the next one